All right. It's part four. You've made the ending. Um, thank you for joining me. JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction. I just finished up uh, this jet ski, which is a brand new Yamaha, in a nine-year titanium ceramic true professional coating. So I do want to tell you, if you've jumped in here, go back into my channel. Look at the date that this was published. Go there. Start at part one. Put your uh, YouTube player on autoplay. And then one, two, three, and four will all magically play in complete synchronicity with one another because I upload them in reverse order. So you can see that this jet ski is now super uber shiny, super uber slick, very awesome hydrophobics. Uh, this client was just really interested in the maintenance. I did his brand new from the dealership to my home shop, uh, a Jeep Renegade hybrid in hy hybro, hyper blue, hydro blue. I don't know. But anyway, there's some videos on that. I did that in uh, Underdog Pro. I did this one in Dallas Paint Correction TMR. Uh, outside, in the sun, on the water, you know, I, I told him realistically, you know, it'd be great to get four years out of it. I'm not, you know, saying this is a nine-year coating in this circumstance with one coat, but that's really all you need with the product. So, anyway, I, I coated everything from that line up, you know, got all the sides, got all the plastics, the, uh, you know, the heat and humidity here are on the high side. I don't know the exact everything about it, but I was uh, given this between, you know, a little more than 30 seconds. It started sweating, and that's a good indication for this particular type of ceramic coating that it uh, is ready. It's flashing, and it's time to buff. I use the two-towel system, first buff. Low pile, last buff, high pile. Here is the coating I was keeping over in the cooler temperatures here on the other side of my dog and cat guard gate and my filtered fan situation, which I turned off just for a little better quiet. I didn't turn that off, so it's probably kind of noisy. But anyway, here is the Dallas Paint Correction TMR. This bottle, let me get you in frame, it's about half. I probably used, this is a 50 mil bottle. I probably used about 20 mils on the jet ski, maybe. This bottle, believe it or not, is $299. The stuff's not cheap, but I uh, would set my little applicator pad here and then apply my uh, drops. I usually do about half the side of the half mitt, um, you know, just like a quarter of the total mitt overall, I guess you would say. But anyway, I, I usually load it up and uh, prime it with about three mils. And then when it needs it, depending on what you're working on, like plastics really, you know, soak up and there's a grain to this. So, you know, you go over it and uh, I'll come and put like one and a half mils from there on out. About halfway through, I changed and when i say half of the half mitt like from this on up so i put a dot on the side when i'm done with it and then halfway through i flipped over this is the side i just used so i don't confuse my my sides here and then i had bigger sections on like the painted color work so i probably did you can see the line there probably about you know, two thirds of the length of that. And I would just drip it, make sure, you know, you get your edges, drip, 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 drip. These, uh, these uh, disposable eyedroppers uh, are totally indispensable. I don't think I mentioned before, but uh, this is like an Amazon buy. I think I got, <laughs> I don't know, like 300 of them for $8 or something. It's just ridiculous. 
just makes your life so much better. Be sure and put your cap back in your bottle right away, which I'm going to do as soon as I finish here. But uh, anyway, just wanted to kind of wrap things up. Um, you know, I wish that I had gotten uh, this vehicle, you know, right after he bought it, right at the dealership. Um, you know, I there are some staining. I'm not sure what this came from. It's right over this bolt. So, you know, maybe there's a problem, but I could have coated this and avoided all of that because, you know, chemical resistance is one of the great things about putting a coating on what's called a virgin surface. So the paint is, you know, really, really super buttoned up, no holograms, no swirls. You know, if it's on a car, this thing, he just, you know, isn't really big into maintenance. So there was just water that had been left on it. I don't know all the circumstances and not trying to throw them under the bus or anything, but Anyway, uh, it had a lot of water spotting. It still has some water spotting. See that? I hate that. And like, I'm not proud to go, hey, you know, this is the kind of stuff I put out. But we had an in-depth discussion. We talked about, you know, water spot removal and polishing and all that. And he's like, no, no, I just want the maintenance. Just coat over all those water spots <laughs> and I'm like hey man whatever you want I'm I'm here for you so anyway uh she's all dialed in she looks super glossy super smooth super nice man that blue just pops the blacks the yellows just really really make this thing come alive but again like on this black can't see it very well but anyway trust me when I say there's some water spots and stuff so anyway this thing's protected he's gonna be ecstatic I'm sure and uh, you know for clients because I coated the Jeep and he's you know return business I went ahead and coated the plastics on top of uh, the engine bay in part three you saw it still had like a little bit of water and stuff on it. I was like, eh, I don't care about that. I went ahead and like went in all the tight spots that nobody will ever see, you know, with the seat on or anything. But I went ahead and coated this, you know, little compartment here. It's really great on plastics. I do engine base with the same thing. I always try and go the extra mile, you know, do the extra things. Take care of people. They take care of you. Um, so... Anyway, that's my basic synopsis. Uh, tried to include some tips and tricks, whatnot. And, uh, you know, there's plenty of ways to do things, but I really enjoy coatings. And um, anyway, that is my wrap up. So until next time, thank you for being with me. Please subscribe. Uh, just hit that thumbs up. Leave me a little comment. Say something, man. I know that, you know, you're feeling me out there. So, uh, uh, other than that, hit the notification bell, and until next time, I'll see you on the flip side. Ready for this? Whoa, right? <laughs> Enjoy making your vehicles beautiful. See ya.